Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a, another Red Dragon. This one is an interesting layout, I must say. It's something a little bit different. I don't think I've played with a keyboard with this layout before. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are with the Red Dragon Polox Pro. This is the K528 Pro. So this is a three mode keyboard. Yep, wired 2.4 and Bluetooth. It is a 78 key. So basically we've got like a 60% up to here. But then they scoot in, give us the arrow cluster, and give us a very short, but small numpad. So, um, now, the first thing I, I mean, not to be a pain in the butt or anything, but um, I see the plus and minus. Um, I think there's two more operators that we need, though, for math. <laughs> let's just say it's interesting layout but let's go ahead and take a look oh and it does have chroma rgb um this is the second keyboard that's that, that i've come across and uh this is basically i think it's razors rgb like if you've got many different rgb devices and they all run chroma then you can get them all going on the same color so it's like one control panel um the open source version would be open rgb so let's go ahead and open this and see what we've got in the box we have our USB-A to USB-C cable with, it's actually a USB-C to USB-C with an A adapter. Keychron, please do this. We have your separate keycap puller and switch puller. Um, some people prefer these. I'm not the biggest fan. I prefer the double-headed one. And then we have some Red Dragon mechanical gaming switches. I love that Red Dragon. Always provides us spare switches. Let's see what we got here. We have the dustproof reds. Now these are actually not that bad of switches. Give them a little lube. They're actually, they sound pretty good. Here we are with the Red Dragon. Polox Pro K628 Pro. So basically we have a 60% kind of with an umpad. Now, I think they're calling this a 70%. It's uh it's interesting. Now we do have 2.4 and Bluetooth. Never dongle right here. But I've been uh finding that some of these are limited to one or two devices. All right, this one has three Bluetooth devices, and it has both Bluetooth 3 and Bluetooth 5, so that's good. Now, it doesn't sound too different than most um, stock Red Dragon boards. Let's see what we've got in here. Right now we have the red dustproof stems. Oh, see now that... Those must be the new ones. Almost tempted to take it apart. What I'm talking about is uh, they had been doing these with the, it was a box style, but these actually seem to be the new style. Because as far as I, as I know, these are still actually being made by Otemu. They're just not Milmax anymore. Now, strangely though, even though we have three to five pin hot swap compatibility, does not appear that we have any dampening whatsoever. Here are the battery, but there doesn't seem to be any foam below or any foam between the plate and the PCB which to me seems like a um, just a lost opportunity. Oh. We do have a plastic plate, so there is some hope for this. Yep, we've got a plastic plate. So I definitely will be coming back to mod this. I'm loving 
the fact that we have the uh, newer uh, hot swap sockets on here. And I gotta say, I don't know if I'd be able to get used to this layout. I mean, obviously, I think as humans, we could probably get used to any layout, especially if we're forced to. <laughs> but, because I mean, I like 60% because they're not taking up this much width. If I'm gonna go with this much width, why wouldn't I just go ahead and get 75% or a TKL? Here's a 75%. So yeah, okay, I don't have the uh, the macro pad, but this is basically the width of a TKL, and I wish I had a TKL right here. But of course, I don't seem to. Yeah, I don't have a TKL in sight. There isn't a TKL in sight. Anyway, I usually have TKLs. But, so it... <laughs> One of the purposes of having a smaller board is to have, you know, more desk space. Some people are working with um, extremely limited work areas. So when you go long, it's like, okay. See, at this point, I'd almost be like, and I mean, this is just me. But if we're going 60%, oh, I got another one right here. Let's got my switches. I mean, granted, this is not your standard layout uh, numpad. But I've got 12 keys, and I can program these any way I want. Um, I could program this into a num n regular numpad with the actual um, division and multiplication symbols, like this one doesn't have. So I just I question who this is for. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and take a look at the RGB. I don't know. I, I've been seeing some some of these Red Dragon boards as of late. Some have some great RGB. Some, not so much. That's just not... Well, it's a little bit brighter. But, that's just not... I don't know. So, we've got the... Uh, I don't know if this... Dolts? Modern Dolts? I can't keep track of all these. This colorway... Um, the black and red, I guess, I mean, well, you got the white, so it's not a red samurai. But um, a lot of uh, red dragons, they're they're starting to, instead of just doing white and black, they're starting to mix it up and add some new um, colorways to their keycaps, which I say I got to like. And these, though, I did assume that they were ABS. They list them as, as PBT, so... Take that what what you will. There we got the three boot Bluetooth spots, Bluetooth one, two, and three, and for the two point four. If we're in wireless, got the function row up here. We've got disconnect. Oh, turn off LEDs. Yep. Let's turn off the LEDs. Let's see the brightness. Seems like we only have three levels of brightness. And we have some legend for the light effects. Oh, I actually see the sub legend for the multiplication of the division now. Okay, so I was right. It is function. Alright. Although. Are you serious? There's no numlock indicator. So I've got a caps lock indicator, but I'm just going to have to guess if my numlock is on. Uh, okay. So yeah, I just wonder what um, what is expected to be done here that you don't know if your numlock is on or not. That to me is probably more important than a caps lock indicator. I'm going to know my caps are locked within a couple of keystrokes, but I might start typing in numbers while looking at a spreadsheet and then finally look up at my screen and go, oh, 
I've only been moving the cursor around. So, and the fact that, honestly, and if I were doing this, and I'm going to put this here, and I've already got the layers down here, the lead page, up page, down, insert, home, and print screen, scroll, lock, pause here, where they're also over here, just leave it as a, a number pad and use that as another one of the, the symbols. Um, personally, because why do you have insert and delete over here, but you also put over here, but you can be a number pad. I don't know. I guess I'm looking at this going, who is this for? It's long enough that it could be a TKL. Why wouldn't I just get a TKL? So, um, I don't know. And I don't know what it is. It's like they're improving their hot swap sockets, but their RGB seems to be going asunder. I can plug this real quick while I check out the stabilizers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the, this is, um, I don't get it. Come on, Red Dragon. You guys are doing so much better on everything else. Why would you accept this? Why is that acceptable? Right. Seriously, they're like just so loose. Have you guys heard of tolerances? It's like, I, you know, I want to recommend Red Dragon to, you know, to some, but there's only particular models. Because, I mean, yeah, this one I also had to do. I mean, a lot of these do come with loose stabilizers, so I had to do the tape mod on there uh, to actually, you know, because. It's Tick City. Not Suffragette City, Tick City. Um, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I review one Red Dragon and I'm like, good job, Red Dragon. And then I review another one and I'm like, color me confused. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Polox K628 Pro. This is a 78 key. 75% three mode keyboard with both Bluetooth 3 and Bluetooth 5. It has three Bluetooth device slots. It is software programmable for rebinding and macro and does come with a plastic plate, though it does not include any plate PCB or case dampening. Keyboard comes loaded with a 1600 milliamp hour battery and weighs in at 510 grams with Red Dragon Red Linear on loop switches. The chin of this keyboard sits at 18 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits 26 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of six degrees. Using the included pair of feet, you will raise the back up to 33 millimeters with a typing angle of 10 degrees. This keyboard retails for $59.99. So yeah, I can, I mean, there, some of the selling points on this is that, hey, it's lightweight. Eh, it is pretty lightweight. I mean, but it's supposed to be, it says that it has both the arrows and an unpad. It's supposed to give you the functionality of a full-size keyboard. And I have to disagree here. Um, you don't have the room. You don't have the familiarity. You have to actually come and use a function if you want to do anything other than uh, plus or minus it, it there's just sometimes I wonder what goes on in these design team meetings now one thing I have noticed I mentioned before the RGB seems really dim I checked with the other chroma RGB red dragon and it's just about as dim as this one um, but other ones that are not chroma RGB have a stronger brighter light source so i don't know if that's something having to do with chroma or something else but that's something that i did notice that i have two chroma boards and perception or if memory you know isn't escaping me they appear to be the dimmest lit red dragon keyboards that i've seen yet um also 
the stabilizers on this thing are just they're they're not even laughable they're just sad um you know, stabilizers shouldn't just move around freely i feel like i could almost just pull them off like they're just hanging there by a string um and having absolutely no padding in here especially i mean unlube switches i just come on red dragon i like what you're doing but when you do stuff like this it's like mm -hmm. what are you doing to me man why are you doing this anyway i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this uh k628 pro uh, please don't turn up the volume i don't think it's going to be very pleasant um but uh, I will, I, I do like these, uh, these formatted uh, Red Dragon boards that have the uh, plastic plate. Basically, the, the top half of the case is just plastic as well. But it, um, it's almost like having a PC plate, a little bit stiffer, but you don't have that reverberation of the steel. So I kind of do like modifying these. I want to take a look at the PCB to see what the differences are with the... Uh, the hot swaps so i will be coming back to it because i do enjoy making ugly boards sound good let's just put it that way so i'll leave you guys with the stock sound test of this k628 pro and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on